YouTube, what's going on today, man? Listen, I'm sorry about the break. Hurricane Milton. No power, no internet, yada yada, but we're back. And in today's video, we got a man. <sighs> we're going to be talking about Asmongold. And you guys know I've given this guy a lot of high praise, but in this video, man, he's offbeat. He went on a big rant on his stream talking about Palestine, Israel, everything that's going on over there. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to watch. We're going to see what he said. And I'm going to give you some of my thoughts and my opinions on that. And I'm going to ask you down below to keep it cordial, okay? It's not a very positive conversation. It's going to be a, a tough video. But let's try to treat each other with some respect down there in the comments. I will be in there. And if you like today's video, don't forget to like the video. And enjoy it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace and love, gang. Mm -hmm, glorious well, day, I, I think yeah. that people are just tired of being told yeah. what to do by people that self-identify as their mental illnesses, right? Like, I just don't want to be told what to do. I don't want to be told what to think. I don't want to be judged. What are you I don't talking want to be, about? Uh, you know, talked down to. I, I just don't want to deal with that, right? I don't want to deal with the person telling me what, what to do. Like, it doesn't really matter, like, what the reasoning is for it or, like, whether you think that you're in the right or not. Just stop telling me what to do, period. Facts. That's it. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me. Don't what tell me what to do. What to say unless I am breaking the law or threatening harm on somebody. Like I said earlier, um, just leave people the fuck alone, right? And uh, yeah, fifteen flags in their bio. Uh, yeah, yeah. As I said, the um, the nightmare rotation. By the way, that Jack Duarte picture in the back was crazy. Of having the Palestine flag and the trans or the gay flag in your bio. I think that they should do something where every single person who has both of those flags in their bio gets permanently banned. I feel like it would just be doing everybody a favor. It's so dumb. Yeah, they definitely don't support uh, gay rights in Palestine. So it's, it is always interesting to see, like, you know, the cadence on Twitter when it's the Palestinian flag. And then, like, the gay flag and the trans flag. <laughs> like, like I mean, if this was algebra, they would kind of, like, cancel each other out, right? Like, there's no way. Are you, do you understand, you know? Don't forget Ukraine. Well, Ukraine isn't antithetical to, uh, to gay rights in the same way that Palestine is. Uh, it's just not the same thing. Yeah, they get, to, they get a free trip to Palestine. Yeah, exactly. Is, ban uh, is banning not freedom? It's not, but these these people have been too free for too long, you know? Why do they get all specific countries racist when they themselves are racist and need help? Uh, I have no idea, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Ukraine fell off? Well, I don't think Ukraine fell Ukraine. off. I think that Russia... It's the most chat comment ever. Ukraine fell off. Russia fell off, and Ukraine God, was man, able to hold them back rot. in a big way, and Ukraine is having... They've even launched counterattacks into Russia. So Ukraine is doing quite well, I would say. Hmm. And I, I think that honestly, uh, things are going pretty much about as, uh, as good as they possibly could go. The, the Ukraine, Ukraine is ultra, stuff, is man. nationalistic and a racist country and it supports Ever. Nazism. Yeah, well, um, when you find me some videos of Ukrainians going around and collectively stoning or killing a person for being gay, uh, like they do in places like Palestine, then I can say that the two things aren't congruent. But until I find pictures and videos of that, I'm going to say that Palestine and trans rights or Palestine and LGBT rights, uh, these are two things that you can't support at the same time. You can't do it. It's so annoying. And I think that if you see a person that's I don't doing understand that Twitter, why they do, you know that they are a vapid, emotionally charged baby that puts no thought into anything that they say or do. And all they're doing is looking to have the right opinion about the current thing. Right. That's all they're doing. Yeah, they're just exhausting humans, man. They're just online 24-7, a hundred different Twitter accounts, all with the same stuff, same tweets, same energy. Just tiresome humans, man. About USA Overwatch stuff, all right? Yeah, exactly, right? Imagine defending Russia. Well, I mean, hey, here's the thing. Um, I I'm not really, like, I don't want to get involved with that kind of stuff either. But, uh... That's it. People's talking shit about Ukraine is a big self-report. Well, I, I understand like there are like complaints that people have about Ukraine. I think some of them are fair. But overall, I, I would say that Palestine is definitely much less aligned uh, with us than uh, than Ukraine is. Um, and uh, if, if you're not sure about that, uh, look at who Palestine supported in uh, World War II. Right. Uh, pretty simple. So, yeah, you could not want a genocide and also want rights for gay people. No, you can't. Because the people that want that, that that you're like fighting against the genocide for would genocide gay people. No, you can't. Nope. 
they're the ones that are going to, uh, the, like, if they had their rights, they would be genociding gay people. It's an so understandable no, point I'm not that going he's to making. create a, I mean, I, a genocide tier list. This part, anyway. They're all bad. It's pretty, it's, it's so, it's so, it's literally so simple. Are you insane? Uh, what kind of take is this? It's a fact. <laughs> it's a fucking fact. Like, it, it, it's, it's so obvious to anybody who's not retarded. I'm going to this on Reddit. Yeah, there you go. And uh, be a good tier list. People cannot comprehend that they're trying to normalize tolerating the intolerant. Um, you're literally creating a tier list by not supporting them because of someone else on the list? No, I'm not. I'm not supporting any of it. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, I'm not supporting a, uh, a group of people that would, uh, you know, kill a gay person or a trans person for existing. Uh, I'm not going to support that group of people in any context. Absolutely not. No. It's not even a question. These people would be the ones doing the genociding if they had the power. They would be doing it. Their laws currently enable them to do it. If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a f They're terrible people. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. Okay. Listen, I know you guys already know your boy. I I'm on the team where it's, you should be able to speak your mind, have opinions, share those opinions. I'm a firm believer in that. And I've had to deal with all kinds of hate and shit for speaking my beliefs. And I'm okay with that. But I've already been through the ringer. But that said, I think the comments that I've made about some things and the comments he's making right now are definitely very different. This is just ignorance. This is, this is a guy that doesn't understand any of the situation because he's not there now i'm not there either and look you know i don't know a lot about this topic okay i know enough i know that on the one hand you got the palestinians you got palestine okay on the other hand you got israel the state of israel the israelians right and they're at war over some land and they've been at war forever this has been going on since your great, 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 great grandfather and his great, 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 I mean, forever this has been going on. And speaking of grandfathers, look, a long time ago, I talked to my grandparents about it, man, and they both told me that sadly, like I said, it's been going on forever and they think it's never going to stop. And because this has been going on forever, it's so deeply rooted in everything over there, it's hard to turn away from. Now, I have a lot of Palestinian friends. And these are great people. They love, they care, they respect others. Now, I'm not ignorant to the point where I, where I know that they're all like that. I know that there's going to be some bad in there too. And it's the same thing with Israel, man. I have Jewish friends and they're awesome. They're great people. Not all of them are going to be like that. And this war completely sucks. And what's going on over there is horrible. And the result is there's a bunch of innocent people just being ripped from this earth. And that isn't something that you ever want to see. But for a guy like Asmongold or a dude like me or maybe even for somebody like you who's not from there, who's never been there, who's essentially ignorant to the entire situation, we just got to take it at face value and understand, like, look, we don't know. We know this has been going on for a long time. We know there's good and bad on both sides, and the whole thing is horrible. And we wish and we hope that it stops. And that's it. That's absolutely it. They'd be doing the same thing. And how much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and yeah, as many are, weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the, the extremes, same thing. extremes, man. The extremes. On that's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not so your allies. People, they are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible. It kills people for their identity, and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for, and it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. No, I don't no, feel bad not. for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. I don't support them. See, for him saying that, and being that that definitive, like when innocent children and people are dying, and you just you, you say you, that you don't feel bad at all about that. That's just a really crazy hill to die on, man. You know, you got to have some empathy in your heart. You got to be able to feel. That's what makes us human. That's what makes us here, real now. You know, you can't say things like that. I think that's why he apologized, man. But it's definitely an uncomfortable listen. You know, I like this guy a lot, man. I have a lot of respect for him. So for him to for him to be saying some of these things, man, just 
it pisses me off a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. It's that simple. And I understand that this is a very harsh statement. That's what I think. Yeah. You should be able to share your opinion, man. He has the right to do that, you know. I also think that, like, you know, when you have the audience that he does and we do, speaking to a lot of people, man, you got to do it a certain way. And, look, I've messed up before in the ways that I've delivered things and some of my thoughts might have been a little harsh as well. But at the same time, you know, damn, I, like, he ain't over there, man. He's got no idea of what's really going on. Yep, 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 yep. That's right. Even the children. What do you think that the children, what do you think that they would do to gay children? What do you think they would do? Oh, that's right. They'd kill them. No, you're not going to emotionally manipulate me into saying some things are okay. They'd kill them. The people are terrible. Yeah, rocks. Yep, exactly. Toss them off a roof. Yeah, it's not a question. It's an inferior culture. Uh, if I went somewhere in the Middle East, I would respect their laws. I'd respect their culture. Uh, I would not, uh, you know, shit on them. But, uh, you know, I'm in their place, right? I, come, I, I don't really take my shoes off whenever I come into my own house. You might but not uh, I come into a... somebody else's house, I'll take my shoes off. I got you no problem. You might not want to go anywhere near there, brother. But at the same time, uh, I don't want that here, and I don't want to support it. That's a lot of assumptions. It's not an assumption. It's a fact. That's it. We should build churches, ask to change their religion. I mean, look, the things that he's talking about, do these things happen? They could. They probably have. Okay? But not all of them do these things. Not all of them are that way. To say that they are, to say that they do is crazy. Yeah, I don't think so, man. Talk about gaming and shut the fuck up. It's not your area. What are you mad for? You're mad. You're mad. I'm talking about something that's going to hurt your feelings. Is that it? And uh, I know that it's uh, I know it's sad. I guess it's saying, but not everyone's the same in Palestine. Yeah. Is any are all gay people the same? No, they're not. You'd respect someone else's house. You expect the same in return. Same goes for countries. Absolutely. Let's get rid of, uh, of control of the Western world and let them deal with each other. Exactly. I don't want to be involved with that at all. I know plenty of Muslims that respect gays. Well, I'm not talking about Muslims. I'm talking about people in Palestine. Uh, the truth is... I agree with that. I mean, I don't know about our involvement with things like that. We can't fix it. There's nothing that we're going to do that's going to fix it. I definitely agree with that. that uh, that's what they do over there. Um, so no, I'm, I'm not going to support a group of people that would be the ones <laughs> doing the genociding if Bro, they had the power to do he's it. He's never been over there, uh, man. I'm sorry to say, I'm not. Uh, I don't, I don't have any sympathy for them. Uh, that's, wow. it's, it, I'm sure at some degree there are people that are caught in the crossfire. This is sad. But at the end of the day, uh, this is an immoral, evil culture. Wow. I truly believe that. And I don't have sympathy for people that are. Chad, don't listen to this guy. Please, I beg you, man. I've met so many Palestinian people, so many of these guys, man. They're, what a beautiful culture it can be, truly. Beautiful people, beautiful food, great culture. It's not what he thinks that it is. It's not. And he doesn't know. I mean, I grew up in Dearborn. I grew up around this culture. I know all about it. Now, I haven't been to Palestine, but I know a lot about their people. There's extremes on both sides, and what he's saying probably does happen, but it's the extreme. And every culture has their extremes. They respect gays because they have to. If they go back home, it'd be a different story. Absolutely. It's not even a question. And I, I know some people are going to get their feelings hurt about this. But you know what? <laughs> Look what's happening in the UK. Look what's happening in all of the other countries that are controlled with these kinds of laws. They're all the same. What is the common denominator? You can't let people rule with any sort of religion. It's all bad. Thank you for saying that. I know, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy how people can't understand that. 90% of your thinking is facts, 10% is assumptions. Yeah, well, um, if you were 90% right, would you, uh, would you go with that or not? Would you rather go with 90% um, facts and 10% assumptions or 90% assumptions and 10% facts? Yeah, uh, it's not my uh, that, that it, it's not my fight. And so, yeah, I see people that, that, that post those two flags. I do not give a shit. I immediately write them off as a virtue signaling card that. whose opinions should never be taken seriously. I and I think that. you guys should do the exact same. It's about supporting civilians. Well, who do you think is doing and enforcing the laws? You think it's all just like some other group of people? No, that's not true. Uh, the laws there are an outcome of the people that live there. 
uh, if you look at Palestine and the people over there, those people were celebrating when 9-11 happened. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Give me a break. Give me a fucking break. I remember it. Yeah. No. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, don't be an idiot. Yeah, it's not even close.